Hi, my peeps. Today we are here reacting to a reacting to uh, something new, and it's gonna be awesome. And today we are going, so we're going to uh, react to some scary stories. Yeah, that's right, scary stories. School lockdowns. This this video hasn't been suggested by anyone, but there's but at school there was one dude that likes uh, scary stories. And I gave out the Gators of War 4 to Daniel, someone. And without further ado, guys, let's just get straight into the video. My peeps. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, I also want to suggest something. I have a penguin with me. For Penguin Plays MC. Okay, let's go. It was a typical boring day in calculus, only it was Friday, 7th period, meaning the week was almost over and spring break would finally be upon mm -hmm. us. Yeah. So everybody was getting antsy in their seats, I could tell. We didn't have a test that day like a lot of my friends did with their other teachers, so our teacher in the middle of class just decided to start playing what? games with us on Sporkle.com. He was a very laid-back teacher like that. As we were doing some brand logo quiz on Sporkle, I remember the exact moment it happened. Right after my friend answered a question, I remember the exact answer too, Adidas. The Dean's voice came through the loudspeaker. He sounded panicked and frantic as he told all the teachers this was not a drill to go into lockdown. I actually got the chills and I got goosebumps on my arms as I usually look back teacher too seemed panicked as he ran to turn off the lights and ushered us to the back corner of the room we all sat in silence for about two minutes and then the usual buzzing that came from a panel in the back of the room seized indicating that the school must have cut all the power we all looked at each other realizing this must be serious a few more minutes of waiting later we heard a man screaming at the top of his lungs coming down the hallway Two girls in the class actually started crying, which made all of us even more scared. As the screaming got closer to the classroom, the lunatic-sounding man started banging on the lockers while screaming, I'll kill all of you. It was at that moment that I started to fear for my life. My teacher shushed us as we all looked at each other to see our peers' reactions. The banging then moved from the lockers to our classroom door. And that's when one of the crying girls screamed no. The banging on the door only grew worse as the man started screaming, open up. Two of the girls in the class were crying out loud now. It felt like an eternity that that man was pounding at the door. But eventually, he finally continued down the hallway, screaming like a mentally insane person, until we could not hear him anymore. I'd say oh, ten shit, minutes later, though it felt like half an hour given the situation, the dean below. came back on the loudspeaker explaining the situation, which was surprising for him to do. He explained that some apparently mentally unstable person entered the building and assaulted the woman sitting at the front desk, causing her to flee the building screaming, and staff wasn't sure if the man was armed or or not. Now this was before the school had cameras or could afford proper security, so the school was wide open to something like this happening. The staff had done a sweep of all the hallways and classrooms and couldn't no. find him, so the dean instructed the no, teachers no. to resume teaching but to keep all the doors oh, locked scream. and to not let any students leave for any reasons. The most disturbing part, however, is that one of the janitors working the night shift found the man sleeping in one of the storage closets near the back end oh, of the school, shit. and according to rumors that were spread by my peers, sticking out of his pocket was a 44 Magnum. The janitor must have done something stupid to wake him up, for example, leaving the closet door open, because by the time a police officer could arrive on the scene, the man was gone. My entire class, as far as I know, to this day, has no idea if this man was ever found, but I like to think that right now, he's being given the proper help that he needs. What? Okay, we're gonna hop into another one. Let's check this one out.
Let's see, let, let's see guys, come on. I'm 27 years old. I live alone in a rural town in Virginia, about two, two blocks away from my parents. My parents are both in their 60s, and my mom has become a very worrisome woman in her old age. Sometimes she walks over uninvited and lets herself in, since I had regrettably given her a key, which can get a bit annoying. Like if I would be out really late on weekends at a bar or with women, I would sometimes come home to my mom sitting in the living okay, room waiting, woman, worried, I'm a, I'm a sick. Penguin. You know, you may just think, oh my god, that's crazy, why not just put your foot down and tell her to stop? Well, because you don't know my mom. It's very hard to describe her, but she's the kind of worrisome, innocent little lady that you just can't oh bring yourself gosh, to go against. And I hate to mention, she also has mild dementia. Anyway, this was Saturday oh, night. I think it was around 2 in the morning. I was at a nearby club with a group of college friends, really the only place to hang out in this boring town, and I was getting ready to head home. I said goodbye to all my friends and walked the three blocks it took to get back to my house. I walked up my front stoop in my drunken haze and dug my hand in my pocket for my keys. When I grabbed the doorknob, I realized it was unlocked. My mom was here again. I quietly opened and shut the front door, locking it behind me. Shit. I put my keys on the oh, kitchen okay. counter and found a note written in my mom's handwriting saying, You forgot this at our house, next to the box of half-eaten cake my parents didn't want. I didn't see my mom anywhere, so I assumed she must have gone upstairs to sleep in the guest bed until I oh, got shit. back, oh, which creepy. is something she would commonly do as well. Oh, that's creepy. Then I heard footsteps upstairs, confirming it, and that's when I sighed once again. 27 years old, almost 3 in the morning, and she still has to wait up and treat me like a child. I ran upstairs to check the guest bed, empty, along with all the bathrooms. I was afraid mom was having one of her episodes due to her condition, so I ran to the phone to call my dad. After four rings, my dad picked up in a groggy voice, asking what the hell is the matter. After I told him that I heard mom wandering around oh, upstairs in my house, right behind him. there was a short pause, and then he said, That's not possible, she's sleeping right next to me. Oh shit! My mouth fell open as I turned my head to face the dark upstairs. And just barely, by the light provided by the kitchen, I could see a head peering around from the corner at the top of the stairs, looking down at me. I screamed into the phone as I ran out the oh, front door and down the street creepy. to my parents' house, explaining it's to my dog, father on the way. Oh, About shit. halfway there, my dad told me, Alright, I'm gonna call the cops, and hung up. I made it to my parents' house, where my mom was already waiting at the door, worried sick. My mom explained that she did come over to clean my kitchen a little bit, and to bring over the cake they didn't want. Two police cars pulled up in front of my parents' house, where they escorted me and my dad down the street to my house. One officer stayed outside with us, while two others went inside to investigate. It felt like 15 minutes before they came back outside and said it was clear. They checked the crawl space, what? the attic, everything. There was really nothing for me to report, other than the door was left unlocked and I saw the outline of a head upstairs before I ran for it. Still, I didn't feel safe sleeping in there that night, so I went back to my parents' house. Me and my dad are certain that my mom simply forgot to lock the door when she left, as her memory has been getting worse over the past few months. My dad has been stopping her from coming over alone from now on, which makes me both sad but also relieved. Some nights, I still get paranoid that whoever was in my house that night never left, and is still hiding in here somewhere. Oh shit! Oh fuck guys. Oh my god, it scared the hell out of me right there. Okay, I will leave a link to both of these uh for both of these uh, stories and um uh, and and subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. And remember, this penguin here is watching you guys. He he wants subscribers. So. So let's. So as always peeps. Remember to smile. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out guys.